for a Hummer that has broke down on the bobsled. So we're taking the record out there to see if we can either get it fixed or get it out. We got Ed here with the weather. Yeah, on the road again. The weather's clear, no wind. Uh, about 85. Be a nice day. So Caitlin and I are taking the Samurai out on this job. Not because the Samurai is ready for recovery work, but we need to figure out what we have to do to this thing to make it ready. So this is kind of a test drive to figure out what the Samurai needs. We will be making a list today. All right, so we're following Matt out to find this Humvee, hauling all the dogs. That's what we got roped in to do. Hefe and I went out last night to look at it and then see if we could get it off the trail so that no one would hit it at a high speed. Cause that's what happens on the bobsled. Okay. I can't see anything, but you Here. probably have better eyes than I do. I'm just gonna try to drive it off the trail really quick. I just wanna see. All right. I just wanna see if I can whisper to All right, it. I, I will be super impressed. That's good. Uh, let's look at the steering really quick. Okay, steering box is broken off the frame. Okay. So we're missing, we're broken. We have broken bolts. Um, one, two, three of them. Yeah, so these bolts have oh. broken off and the steering box is just loose. I'm in my good clothes. Yeah, you should probably shouldn't just, be doing this. Jamie's I just came back from a date. Jamie's not gonna be happy with you. No. You know if these are metric or standard? Uh, we, have, we have similar Humvees you can look at if you want to do that. Because if we can fix it, that would be the best way to get this yeah, off of here. I agree. And if not, we'll care. We'll bring the wrecker either way. We found the problem. I don't know if we can fix it or not. We're going to stop here and get some bolts off of a parts Hummer to see if we can maybe fix it that way. So that's our next stop. Good that worked for you there, Ed? These bolts right here. These are the three bolts that I need. Okay. We should have brought an impact. Yeah, we should have. I have to lay on my back to get this. What size is it? It's a half inch drive, 17 millimeter. Oh, this is goat head what territory. You got, you got a, hey, you got a board. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Yeah, there's some cardboard here if you want it. All right, we've talked about these before and people said that they, they're like, oh, we call those sand burrs. These are not sand burrs. These are a very, very, very different thing than a sand burr. Sand burrs are irritating and painful. These are lethal. <laughs> if two huge spikes. You guys want this cardboard? Tom's an Arizona boy at heart, so he doesn't <laughs> care, he's immune. I see you're meeting with success. Yeah, I got the three house. So there's a steering that's, gear on the inside. We don't need the steering gear, we just need these bolts. That's all we the needed? Bolt, yeah, the bolts broke off. Okay, what about this? That piece is still there. Take I the steering know. gear in case, or is that a pain to get out? Yeah, it's, it, uh, that's not the problem. The steering yeah. gear's still working perfectly. Just okay. snapped all these bolts off. All right, we got so, what we need then. Mm -hmm. We've still got to get the snubs out of the box. We got to hammer those out or something? We might weld nuts on them and take them off because we just need to weld it, on, weld it on like that to get them off because they're still in the box because they're broke off. Okay, so they stick through the box and you're going to get them? Yeah, or, or get them either from the front or the back. We also could just build them up on the front and twist them off. What's sticking out? Do we have a lot? Do we have a stud? No, it's, just, it's exactly like a manifold stud if it's broke off in a head. Gotcha. So we'll be able to do it. I'm not worried. Okay. We'll figure it out. I'm a oh, little yeah. worried. Yeah. We're gonna try and keep up with the wrecker. This is what we're working with. 30 inch tires, 54 inch tires. 
Caitlin, Caitlin, you look worried. I, I'm not worried. Not at all. It'll, it'll be fine. How's this going in here? It, it's very exciting. We found out that if you don't have a little bit of gas on, it dies. Okay. So stop signs yeah. and stop lights are very exciting. On hills especially. <laughs> Yes, you, my hands are completely occupied trying to get it started with this little wire and the key and don't even worry about shifting. Yeah. Hefe's <laughs> gonna leave us. You need... Hefe's leaving. All right, okay, we better go. go. This requires three feet and three hands to drive, but Kaylin is doing excellent. <laughs> Try it. We got the bolts that we needed to put the steering box back on. If we can get what's left of the bolts out of the actual box on the other Hummer, that's the question. bobsled run. What bobsled runs known for the most, if you don't know what a bobsled is, you should go look it up. But you race in a bobsled and this trail is so much fun because it's just switchbacks. Deep, deep, dug, grooved switchbacks. I think we should challenge the wrecker and the samurai to a race. We already know the Bronco yeah. rocks out in the sands. <laughs> Before this call came in, we were planning on bringing the samurai out and doing some testing, just to kind of get a feel for what we wanted to do, like where shortcomings were and what the first upgrades we wanted. So we're kind of doing that anyway, since this isn't really an urgent recovery. We're going the long way. We're gonna be going through sand dunes, doing a little bit of rock crawling. Can't do too much rock crawling or too much sand dunes because I don't think the samurai will do it. But we are planning on testing it to see what it can do. Oh, look how beautiful. Look at that out there. Yeah, a lot of people in. It's the UTV takeover here at Sand Hollow, so I expect the trails to be pretty crowded. I'm surprised we haven't seen anybody yet, but maybe it's a little early in the week. The ride is pretty rough, but Kaylin's doing a good job. You're in low range four wheel drive, but you're still only in two wheel drive because your hubs aren't locked in. So I'll let you make the call when you want to do that. Okay, I think some of these cracks, the mat just drives over are like giant gaping holes for us. Yeah. So the Samurai is definitely going to need some suspension work, bigger tires. What else is on the list, Kaylin? Needs door handles. <laughs> we'll keep making our list. And the no power steering <laughs> is yeah. quite a challenge. Yeah. Okay, we probably need to stop and switch to four wheel drive right here. Oh, yep. You probably need a break too, that's a workout. Uh, How's this doing? Does it just keep dying? Uh, when I stop, yeah. I, I, I can't have let's my... adjust. Let's adjust your throttle. Okay, pop how do the I hood. do that? Open that glove box and pop the hood. There's, it's always open, there's no door. <laughs> All right. Is that better? That sounds better. So, in the sand dunes, you're familiar with the sand dunes, right? Okay, so just, just to be sure, if you're like turning this way, but you start sliding this way, you uh, always turn into it. Seat belts work? Yeah. You're gonna wanna wear them. These little suckers roll. <laughs> Ready for another go? Yeah. Yeah? All right. Real. How's that now that they adjusted it? Much better, it's life changing. No, no more stalling? I only need two hands to drive this now instead of three. Two hands and three feet. Come on, little guy! <laughs> this is a 
we're gonna pull this down? No, no, no. It's not even close. No. We're gonna have to find another line up this thing. The wrecker and the Bronco just walked away from us. Maybe, maybe we can make this line over here. You think that would be easier? Yes. Keep that. sand shredder. No, we're gonna let a whole bunch of air out of these tires. Does this need an engine swap? I don't know. I wanted to keep this one. I think you should throw a K-series in it. LS. The LS of the four-cylinder world. A 3.8, a 3800 supercharged. A diesel. Oh, diesel. <laughs> diesel. Caitlin, what did you do? She blew a shock. Oh no. What do you have to say for yourself? It was a bumpy ride. <laughs> All right. Good luck. <laughs> That's what we need. I think that was just what we needed. I think so too. We're going to shred the dunes now. Yep. Mouth's going to pick a good line for us to follow with the wrecker. And we're going to keep it on all fours. All fours? All fours. We're not going to lose a bead. Letting the air out of those tires was a huge improvement. Go back. Yeah, the wrecker mobs up these hills, but it's a little more challenging in the Samurai. So we're here at the top of the world. What do you think, Ed? I think it's pretty high and rough. <laughs> <laughs> we made it through all those dunes. The Samurai made it. It's having a little bit of struggles getting up this hill here. Which line are you gonna take? <laughs> no idea. Stay. <laughs> Just figure that out as you go. Yeah. All right. So the plan is we're going to go down in order. Hefe thinks he's the fastest and I think he is too. What do you think is faster, the Wrecker or the Samurai down this? As much as I love the Samurai, I think the Wrecker is going to beat us. The problem is I can't drive to full potential right now just because Ed doesn't like to drive bumpy. I'll just see if I can keep up with you. Don't roll it. Okay. <laughs> Caitlin, let's make a deal right now. Don't roll it. Okay. I think the rest of these guys are racing, but me and Ed, we're not racing. We're just gonna try to keep it smooth and safe. <laughs> Always safe. Okay, we're dropping down into bobsled. This is gonna be a fun ride. Yes, it is. Don't run into the back of Hefe. <laughs> He's got a good bumper and a tire to protect him. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be okay. And we're worried about us. Well, we're gonna go down. We're gonna go. However fast it'll let us go. Are you ready, Hefe? Ten four. Go. Here we are. <laughs> that kind of race. 
That was a pretty good ride. That he was, was good. good on that. What do you think, Ed? That was a fun slide down there. They call it the bobsled. Yeah. It gets better down here. I gotta get Ed his step stool so he can get out. Okay. Not too bad. Jake, you made it. Bobsled's pretty cool. Be a lot cooler if I was in a vehicle. That's <laughs> I was awesome. wondering what you were staying there oh, for. I was just bombing, make believe, and I was in a ZJ. Woo! Woo! All right, let's go look at this thing and see if we can get it fixed. Last night, um, when they called me and they told me that the wheels were still hooked together, I thought, man, you should be able to drive it off the trail. But they said they couldn't, so we came up here. And I've got a lot of experience driving things without steering. Demolition Derby, obviously, for over a decade. And then when I went out to Tennessee to hang out with bleeping, the bleeping Jeep crew, and I, the steering box ripped off the frame, just like this thing did, and I finished the trail in reverse. I'm gonna be doing surgery, I'm gonna be asking you for things. The first thing that I need... Is a thing my job? Vice grips. That's the very first oh. thing I need. We're gonna know a lot of things in a minute. All right, this is the problem we have. These bolts have broke off. They're still inside the box right here. And we've got to get those out. So I'm just going to mess around with these for a second and see if we can do it. We may have to weld something to it. I don't know. We may not get any, any of it done and we'll just hook up to it with the wrecker and leave. You need a claw hammer? Of course. I knew that I was coming. claw hammer to the end of this broken off bolt. Let's see you doing that. I'm also hyper aware of how boring it is to be out there not watching any progress. So I feel you for your pain. Matt's just still laying there like nothing's changed. <laughs> we have success on one third of the problem right here. You got a bolt? We got one of them out right there. Hey, all right. Oh. Are these sticking out the other end? You're putting them all the way through? Um, that, that one was, uh, this one's broke off with the nub on the outside, mm. but it's not sticking all the way through. Okay, it's twisting easy, fairly easy. All right, two thirds of the bolts are out. Oh, this is going swimmingly. The top one's the one I'm worried about. And it, and it may not have ever, it may, oh, I don't know what I'm saying. Tom, see if you can just get in and steer the steering wheel to one of the directions. All right. I need some, where's Hefe? I need some muscles here. That's all I'm useful for. <laughs> she just likes me for my body. We're, we're twisting this wheel this way as Tom steers it. Okay, go Tom. Okay, stop. That one is definitely broken off deep inside and it's up on top and we probably can't get to it. Will two of them hold it long enough to get it out of here? Yes, can you get me a flashlight? Watch where you kneel. I'm laying in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tom, we're gonna have to take this steering box off. And drill that out or something? Well, I think we'll be able to get it out fairly easy with it off but with it on there's just no way yeah that silver one that's the one he wants this one yep okay so here's one <laughs> sorry i'm not helping okay tom we've got to line this box up without pitching my fingers and making me bleed okay so mm -hmm. gently start turning the box to the right i don't care okay i'm gently turning like i'm changing a baby's diaper All other way okay coming back Keep it coming. Harder, harder. You've got like eight inches to go. 
That's the problem right there. You know what Rory has that we don't have? What? Big pry bars all the time. Oh. Yeah? Hmm. You know? We usually hit things with rocks. It seems like we use more rocks than Rory does. Yeah. <laughs> the problem is that there's no rocks around here. <laughs> We're on a sand dune. We're hosed. I need three hands down oh, here man. and we'd be done. Caitlin has three hands. She I... was using them all day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> can somebody reach in here and push this bolt in? Okay, let me move this out of the way and see if you can even push it through. Can you push it through? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to get in position. You've got to push it in and twist it. You push it in really hard? Yeah. There. You should feel pump. You, you sh okay. Holy yeah, smokes. You know, did you make yourself a little hole? <laughs> All right. So we got two of these bolts started. We can't put the third one in. We're going to try to limp it off the trail with just two bolts. All right. So we got two bolts in there. Oh. We're going to have to be gentle, but it'll drive off the mountain. Tom, are you driving this off the mountain? Yeah, I'll drive this off. <laughs> Here's your bag of stuff. Perfect. I got everything I need. Check this out. We need to figure out how to do the windshield wipers on the Bombi, and I think that is going to be the ticket. I don't know what that is, but we need to find one and get it. That's awesome. Yeah, that's exactly what we look. It's got the wiper switch right on it. Yeah. I like Hummer, it. wiper motor. I don't want any steering unless this is rolling. I don't want any steering when you're on the brakes. I guess the word Be is... Be as nice as possible. Yeah. Okay, and like, ima Imagine all your steering components are sp dry spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> dry Ready spaghetti. to snap, huh? Yeah. Any time. Okay. But you want to drive this all the way back to his shop. To our shop, and then put we'll that finish. last bolt in. Okay. Start turning the steering wheel the other way. All right, we're heading on out of here. We're gonna go back to the shop, then we're gonna go to lunch, then we're gonna fix this, and we'll see you at that point. We're here at lunch. I wasn't even gonna talk to you about lunch, but Tom just came up with a brilliant idea for, for fixing that steering box. Let's hear what it is. So we're gonna try and use the reverse twist K and cut drill bits to try and back that little broken bolt right out of the hole that it's in. We'll go in with a big bolt, a big drill bit first, and then use like a small one after we got a center hole drilled to back it out. So basically the steering box is gonna stay in place and we're gonna work through the frame. Now, contrast that to my idea, which was disconnect the steering shaft, disconnect the hydraulic lines, take the pitman arm off, take the greasy, <laughs> the greasy box out, and then work on it, work on the bench. But I think we pull that wheel off, there's nothing we could do that would be simpler than that. That's why we go get it at lunch first. All good ideas happen at lunch. We need a really long drill bit. I used to have them, but used to. So it has to be this long. Maybe we need to weld another drill on the back of it. I've definitely done that. <laughs> and I'm definitely about to. Um, It's got a nice dimple. Let's just do this. Just do that? Okay, grab there. Wait. Got any ideas to align it? Yeah. Pretty good? Yeah, eyeball it. Right there. It's even straight. Next job is for me to not let this cool be. I'm happy with that.
Okay, it's definitely worked its way out, but I think we're gonna need to hit it with a punch or something to like force it. And we did really drill all the way through it. Yeah? Yeah, because I can fill the hole in the end of it. You know what I hate about this? The safety. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I knew you were gonna Eesh. complain about that. I got it. It's done. The deed is done. Got it? Yeah. I do have a little bit of a complaint to make with Hummer that there's only three bolts. When the four wheel drive Chevys and GMCs got four bolts on the same size Saginaw steering box. If you're out on the trails with a flag like this, it's not going to do. It's something like this. You can go to mattsoffroadrecovery.com, get yourself a flag. Just like that. Now we just need to send this bolt. Send this bolt home. If we can get it to start. It is off the case just a little bit. Did that pull out tight? Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's torque these to spec. Yeah. Okay, what's the spec? Um, Make up six, a spec. 65 foot pounds. Okay, we'll do exactly that. You can check my work. <laughs> I don't know what these should be spec to. Where'd they go? Are we missing them? A torque wrench? Yeah, yeah, we are. Oh, I found them. You're half inch drive? Yeah. Okay. Here you go. One. So they're at least 65, right? Uh, that one was a little under, but the bottom two so, were. So I'm right in there. I'm just right, right in, in range. Right in the range. Calibrated. Don't change. Okay. Problem solved. Yeah. And that's how you fix a Hummer steering box. All right, it's been a full day. We got this off the trail. We got it fixed. We got the Samurai tested. What else? That's it. That's all we did today. We had lunch. Oh, we had lunch. Thanks for watching. I'll give it all to you.